G'day everyone, it's Techman Pat here. We don't always get breaking news, but this is as far as breaking in a world's first, well, it is pretty much it. This is as good as it gets in the telco world. Today, we see an announcement from Telstra about them partnering with Starlink. That's right, folks. Let's have a read into their announcement. This will hopefully be a quick video, share some thoughts, and we'll go through it today. So let's roll the intro and get started. All right, folks, as much as you may dislike Telstra, they are still a massive, massive telco in Australia, and they have a lot of power. And how they use that power? Well, it's been problematic, but maybe this time that power might be used for good. So anyway, we're looking at the Telstra public announcement or media announcement here. We have, we're working with Starlink to connect more people in remote Australia. Now, obviously Starlink, we know about it. We've covered it on this channel. You've probably heard about it. Very, very popular system for people who are in very remote areas to connect to the internet. It is fairly reliable. It is very fast and competes very well on price with things like SkyMaster. And today we're gonna have a quick read of what Starlink Link and Telstra have agreed to. So Australia is a big place. We've got over 7.6 million square kilometers of land with 26 million of us spread across it, which creates a unique challenge in keeping all of us adequately connected. I mean, some of us can't get the same quality connection of those in more metro areas. To help provide additional solutions for these customers, we're now working with Starlink to deliver low earth orbit satellite connectivity to provide voice and fixed broadband services in remote and hard to reach places. In a world first, offering Telstra will be able to provide home phone services and Starlink broadband service to Australia as a bundle offer as well as local tech support and the options of a professional installation. Further on in here, the main way that you will get a Starlink service on your remote property that will potentially not be able to get the best connection via the copper cables that NBN is out there putting it in, or if you don't have obviously fiber or, or SkyMaster, if you want to get this solution via Telstra, your current connection just has to be really, really bad, or you just request it, I guess. At the moment, we don't have those details, but according to this post, you'll be asked about your current performance. Now, if it's a phone that you request, they'll put in Starlink into your home, they'll install it, and you'll be able to have a phone line via the phone services of Starlink. It's actually a little bit of a separate system, but it is basically VoIP. At the end of the day, you can then request broadband services. Now, Telstra says here that this will be offered towards the end of 2023, and there will be some unique pricing, which will probably mean that it's a little bit more expensive than Starlink's offering. So what's actually big, or what's breaking about this partnership? Well, it is a first partnership pretty much world first. No other company has actually partnered directly with Starlink to offer public services. Bar, well, the guys we've worked with here at Techman Pat. Now the guys at NetVault have also partnered with Starlink to offer it as a business service or part of their official offerings. This, however, is right to the public. So it's crazy to see that not only is Starlink already being sold to the public, you now have a reseller or rather a, I guess a partnership that Telstra is now offering this solution. This is massive. You've got a telco offering basically another product that is also being sold to a customer. It's not unique to Telstra, which means that potentially, I don't know what the, the deal is going to be like, if it's exclusive, but other providers can offer this solution. So if you're in a remote area and you end up having terrible internet, you can end up going to your provider, your telco, in this case, Telstra for now, and getting this solution. But how is it really different from you just getting Starlink on your own? Well, I believe the difference here will be that Telstra will run a lot of the infrastructure backend through their systems to allow for better latency of your phone. So potentially meaning that if you do have a VoIP service on your standalone Starlink, it might not be the same performance if you go through Telstra. Second of all, I don't know how Telstra is bundling the prices. Obviously the RRP for Starlink is 139. Is Starlink getting a smaller cut now that they're sharing it with Telstra and expecting higher sales? 
and then you as a consumer still only pay 139 but get more value. I really doubt that. I think it'll be higher than that. Starlink will always want their cut. Hence, other partners like NetVault have not actually discounted the rate of the Starlink cost. That's just part of the solution and then you have your other services on top in the price book. There is a video in the channel that you can have a look at that price book, we did go through it. Now in this announcement they also said that they will be providing their own version of a modem. Now. I believe this is because they don't have the ability to control Starlink's modem. And of course they wanna have their services running and be able to support it and control it. So there will be their own Telstra branded modem that's gonna come with this pack and it will give you probably maybe better Wi-Fi, maybe, hopefully, I don't know yet, an ethernet port, because if you've seen the Starlink coverage on this channel, the ethernet port has been removed and you have to get an extra adapter to just get one. So it's actually Actually probably a good thing that we get a modem and hopefully that has some extras like extra ethernet ports. I'll link this below, have a quick read, but there isn't really anything specific about this. It talks about the features of a LEO satellite being closer to the earth and lower latency than the big, let's say, Skymaster satellites that provide latency of up to 600 to 1000 milliseconds. These guys can do 60 to 150 and it's pretty darn good. So posts from IT News will be synced there and ARN also did a little bit of a post. But friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope this reached a few people. Let me know your thoughts below. I think from my point of view, this is an interesting development. I expect all the other telcos to go down this route because I cannot imagine that Starlink did this as an exclusivity deal at all. Maybe there is a delay. Maybe they get six months, a year before others can sign up. But I expect other telcos are already in talks with Starlink to get this service on board. Now, obviously there is just no competition right now to Starlink. Uh, the only other one that's close was Amazon, but they're still not really up and running in Australia. So this is going to be huge. Friends, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you wanna see more content like this and updates. See ya, bye.